NMN reduces heart attack damage by activating anti-inflammatory cells, new study shows. Folks, this is the biggest NMN breakthrough yet. For years, I've been following NMN for five years. I've been taking it for four years. And I've read a lot of studies and I've seen a lot of headlines and I've made over 100 videos just about NMN and overall 250 videos on this channel. And I've never seen anything that reads like this study does. And I'm gonna cover four key points and I'm going to put a link to the study, as always, in the description below. I used to jokingly call NMN the Jesus molecule because of its healing properties. At least that's been my experience. Uh, from sports recovery to bleedy gums going away, anxiety attacks going away, a great reduction in my allergies. I mean, it's just healed so many conditions. At one point, I counted over 20 different things that improved dramatically since taking NMN. So yes, I've been taking it for four years and following the situation very closely. But now the science seems to be catching up. We're talking about dietary supplement. We're talking about something that exists in your body already, but we make less of it as we age. It exists exists in the food supply, in healthy foods like broccoli. It exists in high concentrations in breast milk. It is considered a form of vitamin B. Yes, a drug company tried to make it an exclusive drug, but there was a lawsuit and we pushed back on that. And the final decision is coming sometime this month, but right now it remains a legal supplement that you can buy very easily. You can order it online. I take NMN from Do Not Age. I had a problem with a fake NMN and I have a problem with some of the other companies selling NMN. So I've stuck with Do Not Age the entire four years. I've never wavered. I've never jumped ships on NMN. I take almost all of my supplements from Do Not Age. The links are in the description. You can use my code PULSE and you can take NMN yourself and see how you feel. I my Myself, like I said, I won't stop taking it. My friends and relatives that take it won't stop taking it. And many of them have had heart disease and cancer and various other health issues that they're doing much better now that they're taking NMN. What does the study say? The study from my reading makes four key points. The first one being NMN turns macrophages into their anti-inflammatory state. Now macrophages are white blood cells and they can be in a good state or a bad state. They can either induce inflammation or be in an anti-inflammatory state. As we age, we get this macrophages going into the wrong state too often, and the proteins that are created by them become damaged or broken instead of healthy. And I'll get more to the proteins in a minute, but the macrophages in a healthy state boost your immune system. I know this personally because my son had an issue this past winter of a low white blood cell count. And that's the good white blood cells, the good positive macrophages. And he couldn't go to school for three weeks because if he got an infection, he wouldn't be able to fight it. His levels were that low. Once the levels rebounded, he was able to go back to school. So it's very important for your immune system to have these macrophages in an anti-inflammatory state. NMN induces that state. The second point is these macrophages also excrete exosomes and they enhance the regenerative effect of the white blood cells. The third thing that NMN has been shown to do in this study is repair heart tissue using the secretion of a protein called U2AF1. Now U2AF1 is that protein that can be either broken or intact. And when it's broken, it's found oftentimes within a cancer. So this goes way beyond the implications of just heart disease. So this study can impact the treatment of many conditions beyond just a heart attack. We're talking about the healing properties of the tissue around the heart, and that's what the study was focused on. But what was stumbled upon here is the overall healing powers that NMN can unleash. Now, the fourth point is U2AF1 promotes new blood vessels. That's a process called angiogenesis. And angiogenesis is the medical term for wound healing. So you're empowering your immune system through an increased healthy white blood cell count but you're also empowering wound healing. And the ultimate wound is a heart attack. Now I'll read you a few excerpts directly from the study itself that make these points. NMN triggers anti-inflammatory immune cells. Immune cells called macrophages are crucial players in the body's healing process. After a heart attack, they rush to the site of the injury, clear away dead tissue, and initiate recovery. However, while some macrophages take on a pro-inflammatory state, 
others enter an anti-inflammatory reparative state. In this reparative state, macrophages secrete various factors that promote tissue regeneration and the formation of new blood vessels. Researchers found that if macrophages were treated with NMN, they entered the anti-inflammatory reparative state. This was shown by elevations in genetic markers for an anti-inflammatory molecule called IL-10 and a reparative molecule called VEGF, which promotes the formation of new blood vessels. These findings suggest that the reparative function of macrophages can be significantly enhanced by NMN. Next excerpt. NMN elevates a protein that supports heart repair and survival. By exploring how exosomes from NMN-treated macrophages could support heart repair, the researchers identified a protein called U2AF1. They found that U2AF1 was elevated in exosomes from NMN-treated macrophages, suggesting its cardioprotective role. Confirming this role, the researchers showed that genetically increasing U2AF1 levels in the MI mice, or a mouse that had a heart attack, leads to improvements in heart function and repair. Furthermore, deleting the U2AF1 gene greatly reduces the survival of post-heart attack mice. Oh my gosh, Pulse, you're talking about mice. Well, there is a connection to humans here, a significant relevance to humans that is covered. Additional mouse experiments revealed that U2AF1 promotes the formation of new blood vessels, a process called angiogenesis. Importantly, the researchers found that U2AF1 levels were reduced in heart attack patients, humans bridging the gap between mice and humans. In other words, we have the same lack of this protein, whether we're mice or humans, post heart attack. The researchers found that higher levels of U2AF1 corresponded to higher levels of angiogenesis. These findings suggest that exosomes from NMN-treated macrophages support heart repair by promoting angiogenesis via U2AF1. Now all this begs the question, why is this study not in the mainstream news? And I asked that question recently when I broke down a study of vitamin D. That study now has, in less than a week, 340,000 views. So there is clearly interest in the public, and in the algorithm for that matter, in these types of topics, yet they're not showing up in our news media. Hopefully they will. Hopefully they'll pick up on a video like that performing very well, and it wouldn't bother me at all if they follow my lead on this. This isn't about me personally. This is about serving the public. What's fascinating here is both vitamin D and NMN are supplements that anyone can take. Anyone can make themselves healthier, living longer. Vitamin D can prevent loss of telomere length. NMN can enhance wound healing and the regenerative processes in the body after an injury or illness. I'll continue to cover these topics, so please subscribe to the channel and keep following me here. I appreciate you watching. See you soon.